Mm, definitely. It's all about impressing the la- your lady friend, but uh, not going bankrupt at the same time. And uh, interesting, we mentioned about discount coupons. I know ladies in uh, Newport, uh, they don't mind discount coupons. No, they love them. I think uh, one of the things we found from generally uh, and a sweeping stereo sort of typical view, but one of the things we found was uh, ladies in Wales are much more willing to, to go for dates and have... have sort of days out where uh, the blokes have got it on a deal and that's one of the things where we thought you know that's that's a really good thing that we should point out so Mm. yeah you know if you want a cheap date go to Essex if you want someone who's money savvy go to Wales great so you're drawing up a little map of a country here aren't you well, I, I'm married, so I'm uh, I'm okay on that score. Mm. But, um, but I think, yeah, all those single blokes out there, you know where to go now. Just come to us, and we'll give you a map of the the cheapest places to go out. Brilliant. I'm um, just looking at uh, some of the cheapest uh, places then for dates in the country according to your research. Middlesbrough and um, uh, Swansea in there as well. Uh, a lot of places up north. I noticed um, a lot of places where dates are expensive are uh, sort of around the south. I know in your expensive list you've got Woking, you've also got Epsom as well, both kind of in London and the southeast sort of area. Do you think there's a north-south divide going on when it comes to expensive dates? I think there always will be, but I think that's also because people maybe have varying expectations in different regions so uh, maybe if you're living in the southeast and you're kind of constantly hearing about going to the theater and, um, and and kind of doing all these expensive things then then maybe your expectation is slightly different from somebody who's up in Middlesbrough and uh, maybe you know they don't have as many theaters as, as there are in London so uh, I think that's why the va- that's why there's the varying uh, range of costs but I think there's always going to be a north south divide people mm-hmm. have different hobbies in different regions so say for example in the southwest which is where where we are you know rugby's the big thing and uh, blokes and blokes and the ladies love it so you know whereas if you go up to Middlesbrough it's going to be football and obviously the costs are you know the costs are different for those kind of things Okay, well, it's fascinating research, and I always love these sort of polls. It sort of draws a, a social picture of, of the nation and uh, yeah, how we sort of interact, and it's brilliant. No, it's, it is really, really good fun, and, you know, we're, we're really lucky at Group Polar that we've got such a vibrant community who, who helps us out with these kind of polls. So, you know, as soon as we get more, we'll keep you posted. Excellent. How is this research sort of put together? Do you, do you have to go out there and survey people, or...? Well, we, we do it all online, as you'd expect. Mm-hmm. We're one of the sort of leading online companies out there in the UK. So we get literally millions of people coming to our sites every, every month. Um, so we just simply put a poll out there, and within a couple of hours, we've usually got a few thousand people give us their thoughts. So, you know, we, we run these continually just as a bit of fun. So, you know, what kind of supermarkets are people going to for their online shopping? What kind of deals are people looking for? And then we can sort of help uh, help find those deals for people and help people save money, which is what we're all about. You know, you, you should never be paying full price for, for any product or service anymore. You know, there's sites like ours out there that can help you save money on everything from buying a car right through to just your daily grocery shopping. So how does Groupola work then? Do you want to go through that? Really simple. We have some really good deals on there. So say, for example, um, we could have um, maybe a, a, a restaurant meal at a Michelin restaurant. Um, and if a hundred people come along and sign up to it um, at a discounted price, then everyone gets it. So, so basically, you all come along, tell your friends about it. If enough people sign up to it, you get the deal. If uh, if they don't, it rolls over for the next day. So we have everything from uh, days out paintballing, days out at theme parks, right through to meals out, haircuts. So enough people come along, mm. sign up to the deal, it goes ahead. If not, we roll it over. So it's all about the numbers of people sign up for a particular deal, then. Yeah, it's about groups of friends getting together and sharing the, you know, the good deals. And, you know, if you, I think at the minute we've got one for paintballing for £4. Now, anyone who's ever been paintballing knows, along with uh, getting a load of bruises, you also get a much lighter wallet. But we're making mm. sure that you can have a bit of fun, and it's not going to cost you the earth either. I'm not suggesting you take your girlfriend there for the first date. You know, it's, uh, can you imagine it's, that? <laughs> oh, God, it'd be painful. Maybe you could compare bruises, and that would be, you know, the second date. I don't know, maybe for other people to discuss. Yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, if you can get the paintball in for £4, you can spend uh, the money you saved on plasters and bandages and everything else. And That's it. We need to get some deals with pharmacies next so we can get all the bandages <laughs> cheap too. Brilliant. So you've got a, a good relationship with um, all these sort of companies uh, around the country, I guess, and uh, that's where all the sort of deals come in? Or Oh, yeah, we work with some of the biggest brands out there. So um, we've worked with the likes of Virgin Bloom so that you can get, you know, get in your hot air balloon, maybe have a date up there for a much reduced price than, than if you were to just go and buy it. So, yeah, we get a load of 
load of people together, get all your friends together, buy on bulk, and uh, you'll get a much cheaper deal. So that's groupola.co.uk, and if you can save us money when it comes to dating, save us woking blokes a bit of cash, and we don't have to spend £150, that can only be a good thing. That's absolutely brilliant. Stop you getting a nosebleed at the end of the day. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> brilliant. Well, it's good to talk to you, uh, Andy. Uh, keep us up to date with all the uh, latest research you've got coming through. It's fascinating to sort of read all about what you're up to. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. That's Andy Barr talking to us on behalf of groupola.co.uk. So, Woking, the most expensive place for a date in the country. What do you think of that? Uh, have you ever spent £150 on a date? Would you take a girl friend for a burger and fries or would you splash the cash? That's what I want to know from you this morning. Get in touch with us here at Radio Way. And uh, speaking from personal experience as a Woking boy, I've never spent £150 on a date. Maybe 150 pence. Not necessarily £150, though, but uh, maybe you have. This is an audio file from Radio Way, the community radio station based in Chertsey in Surrey. Don't forget, you can listen to our programmes live on the net at radioway.co.uk. Radio Way.